Good morning. I hope you are very well. How was your weekend? Um, well, I'm not. Well, if you want to tell us, it's studio at uh, thecraftstore.com. It could be very good. If you were up to any crafting kind of adventures, of course you can share it. Now we are start. Well, we are the second hour of today, the live hour. We are going into a journey of color, and of course it is the one day special, which is Couture Creations, and we have got an extraordinary guest, which will tell us all about alcohol markers and beautiful colors. Of course, John, how Hello. are you? I'm not sure I'll tell you everything about alcohol markers, but I can tell you what I like about these. Well, That's probably well it's funny because um, you define yourself not as a colorist. No. But the fact that you love them so much and you can you made them work for you. Yeah, tell I us do. All about I it. think this is the difference is I've bought a big collection. I've this is just some of the different brands of alcohol markers that I've got. Okay, yeah, I've yeah. even I even bought which you won't even remember I don't think the Harmony markers. Yes, I that, did. Yeah. Um, were Hachandas yeah, when it first started yeah, but I've got loads of different ones I was very lucky to be bought some Copics at Christmas yeah. I've not got on with them I found my colorings not great okay. and I've always been convinced it's me I've had one day's training but what actually happened was I went when I got these because of the way they work because of the way you've got the blend the, the blend chart because they've all been done in blends it made it so easy so this was the first oh, image I coloured when I got the pens. And, and, and you know, I, I love alcohol markers. And uh, like you, I have got lots of different ones. And I have got um, some very, very, very expensive ones. But however, even the expensive ones have got a colour that is very limited. And one of my struggles has be, always been the vibrancy, getting good vibrant colours. When I saw these ones, and I saw what you just shown, the, the, the images you have stamped, yeah. the colour, those flowers, I can see immediately vibrant colours. You, you can. I mean, there, there's actually, you've got a, a couple of pieces there from Emma Blake. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so, that is the Couture Creations colours that you're showing there. Okay. Now, the other one is a cheap, I say cheap, say, yeah. it wasn't cheap, it was just less than £100 delivered yeah. that I got from abroad. Exactly the same image, coloured in exactly the same colours. You wouldn't believe on that image that's there on your left, um, the sort of paler one, that that's got four yeah. different colours in the hair. But it has, this was the difference in the vibrancy, and if you can see the blend on the heart in the middle is just two colours to get that heart. But that one looks smooth, yeah. And that one, it's That's just leaked. It, it, and exactly. that is the problem is the intensity of ink isn't there because I found with an awful lot of alcohol markers, certainly say with the particular one here I've got, I'm going to yeah. move this one out, get the right thing, try not to show what right, yeah. the thing is. Basically, there's more, can you see there's more alcohol than colour? Yes. Yeah? If I get a corresponding colour in these... Wow. The difference, the juiciness. That's the difference, and I'm not trying. And these pens have hardly been used. So if I do a do a, a solid section, so I want to show you, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to. Can you see? The pattern. You can yeah. see actually yeah. where it's not yeah. quite so smooth. And what wow. they've done is they've increased the amount of pigment yeah. against the oh, alcohol yeah. and yeah. that's the difference and if I bring in one of the sort of top brand yeah. which is which, which is, brilliant, is one of my favorites well, I'm not you know gonna, I yeah. would love to be able to yeah. pay the three four five grand for the full exactly, set exactly yeah but even then even then it's a still it's a good one I wouldn't compare these because it's not fair but you can actually see the intensity of color yeah. you've got and the, the way that the thing that I love about these are if I take the pale pink or a brighter one, even two colours that shouldn't blend... They do, will blend. ...will blend. So you can already see on there... There we go. Wow. I, I can do that. Yeah. I did that. Yeah, yeah. And I don't have the skill. I and I genuinely yeah. don't. I'd love to say I had two weeks course and training. I've had no training on these and one day colour training with alcohol pellets in my entire life. And the thing is, you have achieved those results. So this is why uh, these alcohol markers, Jones loves them. Uh, and I can say it why. The colour are amazing. The intensity of that, that, that dye in there inside it. Now look at the colours. Look at the pens. They are double-ended, so you have got a brush nib and a bullet point. You have, and this is one of the differences. Normally, when I buy a marker pen, 
Well, when you get an alcohol pen, it has a chisel tip on one side. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I can sh I'll sort of show you on. I can show you on the overhead actually, just to make it easier. But you get yeah, yeah. a chisel, and you get a brush. Yeah. Yeah. Or you get. A, a bullet chisel. point yeah. and a chisel. Yeah. yeah. We don't use the chisel. Yep. We genuinely don't. What I've got with these, let's pull in one again, similar colour. I get the brush. So the beautiful line. But then I get the bullet. So if you think about it, how would you colour an intricate detail like that line there with a chisel or with a soft okay. brush? Mm. Whereas because you've got the bullet in there. I mean, I'm, I, it's, you know, I'm having to actually go lots of strokes. Does that make sense? Yeah, because it's it does. so fine. And as you said to me when you were trying them this morning, because I, you know, I value your opinion, as you know, and you had a lot of alcohol pens. You said the nib, the nib on these nice. are some of the it's best that you've nice. ever Absolutely. come across. Absolutely, and this is what I, what I think these pens are. Is just you can see that you have got quality of color, quality of the ink, quality of the nibs, and that's what is going to give you the amazing results. Look at how simple the shading. Love that bullet nib because, like you are showing now, I mean, how easy it is to add shading. Well, it is. What I've done is I've gone for a green and a brown. So these shouldn't shade together. No. They, they actually genuinely shouldn't. And this is not something I've tried before, so it doesn't... But okay. if you watch, as I use Don't the know. other green on, watch as that brown fades out and in. That's really, really good. And this is, you know, also that one of the samples that you showed as well is just like, if it had more concentration of alcohol rather than colour, the, the, you know, the... In the then you would bleed much more. Well, this it will bleed obviously a little bit because you have got alcohol, but not into the the amounts that um, uh, you know some of the other ones will. No, it doesn't, and it doesn't at all. And again, so I'm not worried as well because I thought right, I've gone a bit too dark on that. Yeah. So I just keep adding. Adding. And this is the difference. Yeah. It doesn't seem to bloom. I don't know if that's the right word, but as I add more. Yeah. It doesn't actually seem to actually yeah. go out. I mean, and I'm using just a simple plain cardstock. So you're not using <coughs> alcohol specific, alcohol no. marker specific oh, no, card. No, 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 no. I'm not buying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not paying that price. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but that's. I want to be able to use the card I've got. I mean, I'm actually using. I think this is a Dolly Dimples card. Yeah. I've got a smooth cream, which is that she does is absolutely yeah. perfect for it. But I'm not using anything yeah. special at all. This is literally just <laughs> normal card. Uh, absolutely. That's so I love this pencil already. Uh, now not only you are getting the you know the 108 colours, you are getting 10 free colourless uh, blending pens. Now these ones I have been trying them uh, because um, I would say you know how it sometimes alcohol markers kind of bleeds a little bit. Then with the blenders you can go in and clean those lines up as well and create the full bleaching techniques as well. You can, yeah. It's it, it's one of the things is everyone thinks about that blender first of all is yeah. it's not a blender no. it doesn't blend your colors what it does is it takes color out or we think it does yeah. what it does is it forces the color through the card but it allows you to do like you say the faux bleaching technique so if you can see as I color over now with this blender over the color that I did this morning yeah but can you see there look at that how I'm starting to get a little bit of light so I would say that section there would be really light so what you can do is you can hold, you can keep one for each sort of colour family if you want to. Yeah. Um, so just really simple oh, like also, that. What but what, what you can that. do, and this is why they put so that. many in, and they, this is something that we forget about. Have you, you've seen the pens yeah. where you, you, you basically, you hold a pen yeah. over the pen. With ten you can mm -hmm. do that with these. Exactly. So what you can do is you can hold them end to end yep. and actually get the, the red ink will soak down. The longer that you leave it, the more of the red ink that will soak in. But of course, once the reds run out, yeah. it will fade itself. Now, I've not left that long enough, but what I can do is, there we go. And That's one colour. One colour. So, and you can keep going in. So you keep that for one, I would keep it for one colour family, yeah. which is why they've given you ten, yeah. but what you can do is, 
If I keep running that, so you see that's blending yeah. out. If I keep running that, watch. It's magic, magic. At the end, I'm back to clean. I might have a little bit of, sort of, a little bit on the end, but it, yeah. all that's doing is sort of doing the nib. But if you see there, that yeah. is, I'll get a fresh piece, completely mm -hmm. white and clear. Wow. Yeah. You can't see it, and that's what's so fantastic. Yeah, so you're almost right. getting a full set of colours, all in blending families, which I'll get on yeah. to in the demo, but you're also getting a full set yeah. of the blending pens where you make your own colours in oh, there. Nice. And think okay. about it, you could touch that with two colours and make yourself a two-colour pen. Yeah. Because you've got ten of them, play with them, and they're free. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, of course, I kind of we were like talking, and I was just I, I, I love colour. I love the fact that alcohol markers allow you to go over and over the same paper, and because it doesn't have water contents, the fibers don't come undone as well. So if that has been a problem in the past with other watercolour mediums, alcohol markers may be a good solution for you. Now, what I love about this one as well, not only is the names, the quality of the colours, is the storage as well that comes in because it's so practical to have a, a kind of element in here that you can just close it up and then, you, of course, you have got all of them self-contained and you can take it and wherever you need to. Even if you have got a dedicated room like I do, uh, you still have to put them away. Yeah, rude, I know, but sometimes you have to. Anyway, so you have them here, 108 beautiful colours, double-ended. You can see that they have the design, like John, um, kind of a sneak peek, at beautiful blends as well. Now, you are getting those 10 colourless blending pens as well. Lots of different techniques you can do. Now, if you were going to buy, to go for the pick and mix, right? So we have got pick and mix of sets of four, I think it is, and you're choosing three of them. Now, that, you can see there, £21.97. Now, you have an £8 saving already included there. Now, if you wanted to go all of them, all those sets in sets of three, like uh, sets of four, sorry, the liters at the bottom, it would have actually a saving of 72 pounds. That would be the saving if you went for all of them as a pick and mix. However, additionally to that saving that carries forward, you have got an additional 10 pounds saving. So therefore, the saving with the one day special is absolutely phenomenal. Now, then on top of that, you have got a, a freedom price in there on top of it. So you have got a £28.77 saving, which means that it's a further, um, is it £18.77? Yeah, as a freedom member, which means that as a freedom member, your saving is actually over a hundred pounds should you have had to buy them, you know, as separate packs individually elsewhere. Now, also you have got a flexi and it's not a two interest free pay, uh, but three interest free payments. So you can pay just today 56 pounds and was it 80? Oh, there it is, 32 pounds, so 56 pounds and 32 pence. And of course, that is the delivered cost. That would be all you're paying for amazing, beautiful, 108 colors. We are a third of the stock gone. If you want yours, you know what to do. Check out your baskets, 339520. And of course, Couture Creations comes with a little bit of an extended delivery, which will be dispatched from the 12th of August. So in just 10 days. Right, do grab it, look at that. Absolutely, I just want to show a couple. Can I show? Because it's just, it just makes sense, doesn't it? That's using look the blender, so we did the blue one. So this is the monkey. All the blends on the monkeys are done from the charts. But the next one you've got is one I did last night. I love that. And the light patches are using the blender. Yeah, I So where that. I was demoing the blender, so you can cut, watch on catch up to see how to colour that one. But that colour scheme was given and I wanted more light, so I used the blender over to take it away to give those light reflections. It's like a new technique I learnt last night. It is just gorgeous. I have to say, I kind of, well, I love the sentiment here. Experience is the only thing that brings knowledge. Uh, but I love that red, the intensity of the red. It is amazing. I've never seen that intensity of red. And that is the first time I coloured that stamp and I because you know how new those are so yeah. I've only had them a couple of days but you can really work but if you want to get soft and subtle you can get soft and subtle shades I think the next sample you've got just shows you beautiful Sorry. just using the real pastel and pale greens on there um, or working now this one actually is this was using my Copics yeah okay. okay and then you've got another piece underneath it oh to the there you go to your right yeah that's using 
these. Oh, I love that. So I wanted to show the same image yeah. done detail, in different yeah. marks, in just sort of different styles of pen. And I actually found I prefer the green and the leaf that I got because I've only got a very limited I, range I'm of the Copics. I'm glad you say that because I love my Copics, but greens are a disappointment. We had this discussion ages ago, Ooh, didn't we, we did. about yeah, when we I did. was trying because I was trying to work out yeah. whether it was worth investing in them yeah. because my colouring wasn't right. Yeah. I, I'm not doing now. I hasten to yeah. add. In fact, I actually bought a second set last night for my friend, Ooh. and I had to get them through you because no one else has them. <laughs> So I actually bought a second set last night, but you were right. You said to me, there's no greens. There's not well, the right there is, greens. There are greens, but they are either very wishy-washy or uh, with the hair, I can immediately see. Look at the vibrancy. Look at, look at the luminosity of the green. Having mustard greens as well, having olive greens. So it means that you have got a full spectrum. Remember that you're getting 108 uh, beautiful alcohol markers. 339-520 is your item number. Now, the pick and mix that I mentioned, you will find it on the website. Maybe you are one of those ones that say, well, like, saving is great but I just want to go maybe for greens uh, you have them in there as well so you can see them are there that are oh sun-kissed riverbed outback oh I like the names boot camp oh I need to go to those ones oh, Australian yeah cinder. red clay outback volcanic I would go for red clay and rose and peony and princess queen I prefer queen than princess uh, lavender and then we are going Bervena. Bervena. Um, heartbreak. So you can pick any three of them. How do you pick? Go for the one that is special. I like get them all. And then you all have the oasis, the jungle, the forest, the battalion, the Caribbean, the ocean. Oh. Oh, I love color. I'm just, and I love the blenders. I really, really love them. Uh, you can choose any three out for £21.97. And, and remember, that has an £8 saving. So if you want to go for them, 285813 is your item number. Now, talking about alcohol, but this is a slightly different. This is, of course, in the liquid form, alcohol ink with glitter accents. Yes, so this is something again new and different that I've never come across before. I've come across metallic, I know Tim Holtz did a range of metallic yeah. alcohol inks, but never with glitter in. So every single colour in here has the glitter inside. And if you give it a shake, you'll feel there's a ball bearing in there. Oh yeah. Just to mix it through. But it's not like, you know when you use the metallics, they're yeah. gloopy? I will show this on the show. They are gloopy with these, they're not. They're like alcohol inks just with glitter added. I don't know how it works, but it does. But if you catch it in the right light, this is on acetate. Wow. But I've not added glitter on it, I've not thrown it. This is just using three of the colours straight onto acetate. And again, they're just using a couple of greens. I've tried to use them in stories. This one, which I think <gasps> looks like granite, Love this. that's using the black set, so the black, the grey, and the um, incandescent. But again, you don't get those colours, do you? No, it's just absolutely stunning. Uh, now, of course, uh, so you twelve ninety nine. We have got different options for you. You are getting four of them. So we are going to start with the pastels. Uh, so you can see in here that you have got the pastels. So you have got the baby pink, the angelic, the baby blue, and peach. Uh, pastel is being very popular. A third of the stock has gone uh, already off the pastel. Then we have got the seasonal. So we have got the Christmas colors there as well as the sunflower and the cobalt. Uh, a quarter of the stock has gone off that option. Then we are going to um, the uh, tutti frutti, the lilac, apple, fuchsia and topaz. It is actually the favorite. Half the stock has gone for that. And then we have the, uh, oh, which one is that? Mosaic, oh, burgundy, khaki, pumpkin, and amethyst. And then final option that we have got for you is the gemstones with plum, burnt sienna, turquoise, and cappuccino. I love, I have to say, I absolutely adore these Christmas uh, ornaments. Yeah, these, uh, Sam did these, and these are literally just out of our Christmas box. So you've got plastic ones and you've got glass ones, but you can see how they've worked beautifully on the glass and you've got that incandescent, that sparkle, yeah. that shine that you would get. Um, just from the alcohol inks. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. I'm hoping to do one of those in the 12 o'clock show. I love that. I love that. Uh, and of course, if you want to go for them, remember that you have got uh, these five different options. Make sure to select your option and check out your baskets. 12.99 for them. Uh, 440072 is your item number. Then let's have a look at the next bundle here because we have got, again, glitter accents, but oh, 
you are getting graphite, onyx and incandescent. I love this. Those are beautiful. Those are the ones that I did the sort of marble looking piece yeah. with. And I just think they look so amazing. And I did. Um, and what I did to do that is, and I will be doing it this hour, so I do need to warn you, I set fire to it. Oh. So well, I do need to warn you because I know that I have to tell people that that's going to happen. Well, I don't. I, you can set. Yeah, I know. I got told off I last time. I have to give you warning that and I'm going to As long as we kind of go with health and safety and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, right, of course, if you want to go for this, three, uh, you have got the details there. 357 uh, 148 is your item number. Now, and we have got, of course, the alcohol uh, stays in place, uh, this bundle in here. So it comes in with the empty. Um, so we have got the, uh, you're picking and choosing any two. So you have got the, and um, let's have a look at the different ones. So it comes in an ink, and then you kind of use the ink over it to uh, ink it. So the first option we are looking at is the, oh, Arctic White. Sorry, I kind of wanted to show you. <laughs> Shall I show you on mine? Yeah. Would that be easier? Yeah. Because I've got mine here. The great thing is the Arctic White is beautiful, but if you can you see, the colour, I don't know if you've seen the shine, you've actually got glitter in there. Right. So these are actually like, stays in sort of, they stay in place. So these are permanent on everything. And I should have shaken that first, but literally, yeah. that is all you have to do to re ink it. But I've left mine for weeks and redone it. And the reason they've done it this way is because how many times have you got one of those inks that sort of stays in yeah. the right place? Yeah. And then you go back to it six weeks later and it's dry. It is, yeah. I've bought loads and I really have whereas with these they stay juicy and because you've got loads in there you can constantly keep re-inking them but I know that white ink pads are something that are really really quite difficult to get um, but I will show you in the demo of yeah. stamping in the white Perfect. on top because I haven't actually got it prepped well, in a minute let's, let's, but that's we'll... literally all you do but you've got it's like having glitter stays on or stays in place ink pads that will go on absolutely any surface brilliant mm, right if you want yours a three to one a five to five is your item number 15 pounds or 99 pence arctic white being one of the options and then uh, the other option is you can see it here is actually jet black and then we have uh, so and then we have got matte black so the jet black has got the the glitter you choose in any two for 15 pounds and 99 pence three to one five to five you will find them on the website thecraftstore.com and you can see with a lot more including those uh, scoring boards as well from couture creations both the 12 by 12 and this uh, 8 by 6 inches as well as those beautiful Nellie's Lennon uh, stamps that, of course, uh, John was uh, stamping and colouring with. So you will find them the, all of that in the website, on the website, thecraftstore.com. 9.99 is the price for a set of two stamps, clear stamps. And also the watercolour media mat is also proving very popular with the alcohol markers. So grab yours. I thoroughly recommend them. They are so good. £19.99. And, and you can see those five star reviews. Right. Uh, we want more demos. We want to see those <laughs> alcohol markers in action so right. um, you were talking about the blendability I you? was what they've done is when you buy as you said to me earlier when you actually buy or one the companies buy alcohol pens they go oh they're pretty colors we'll have those oh they're lovely what looks nice in your box that's not how couture creations have done this what they've done is this is the color wheel that you get this when you buy the pens this will appear as a download in your Perfect. account yeah but you can see they've done a full color wheel and blend done the colors between oh. so last night i was actually showing how to blend a couple of these sort of next to each other so it's, that's how they've chosen them but what it means is they've actually done this and this is what it means for us They've given you all of the blends. So normally the big problem I have is working out, if I want to have a greeny yellow flower or foliage or something, I don't know which colours to use. Whereas that tells me the three, top three or the four, whichever I want, that tells me how to achieve it. It goes on into the second page. I think you've got um, an actual picture of all of these that you'll get, but this is how you'll get it. So it even gives you shades of greys and how to get shading in black and it gives you suggestions of hair and things yeah. like that. So, I mean, that's, that's fantastic because it means rather than chosen as pretty colours, they're chosen for what works. But what does that mean to us? Okay. And this was the great exactly. thing was, I wanted to colour him. Right. Okay, so I wanted Cute. to colour this little, and I can never remember the character's name. 
Um, is it Tweedledum and Tweedledee, I think, uh, uh, um, I think from Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. I wanted to colour him. Now, for that, I needed to choose the colours for the red, for the blue, for the skin, for the hair, for the pink on the hat, yeah? I yeah. needed to choose. And that's how many pens I used to colour him. Right. OK? Wow. So that's... But can you imagine how long would it take you to go through that box and go, right, now, oh... Yeah. It would be a killer. Every single mix on there has come from here. Oh. So I said, right, I want his trousers in red. Oh, I'll go with that one. 206, uh, 205, 216. Perfect. Right, so you have I want his top blend. in blue, so I'm going to go for that one there. So I went for 9421 and 279. That's perfect. Yeah. So it takes all the All the thinking the, all and all the, the work yeah. was done out. So what I want to do is I want to show you now, I'm going to use the flower, but what I'm going to do a little bit different, because you said about card, yeah. and because I pre-stamped a load, right. um, I thought people might think, oh, well, perhaps you are using a posh... Uh, like, yeah, I won't. Okay. You, know, you know me too well. You know I would not buy posh <laughs> alcohol colouring Well, you card. want one card that does everything no. very this well. This is... I think this is the cream smooth card from Dolly Dimples. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yep. So this is just really simple. I'm going to use the Nelly stamps, and the reason I put these stamps on the show is because this is the only bits that I selected in the media mat was because these are perfect for colouring, and they are great for testing and trying it out if you've not done it before. So I've just used the wrong ink pad. Okay. So I'm just going to turn it over because I don't waste card. All right. Yeah. Even when it's thing. Oh. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use Memento. So have okay. you got a second? Just yeah, of while course I open we will. Now, of course, if you want to go for the stamps, uh, we have got the, the both sets in here the, from Nelly Snellen, and of course that is the one that you can see there uh, with the beautiful florals, the magnolia and the flower. Nine ninety nine for both of them. Six one six three three five is your item number. We have another pair of two stamp sets by Nelly Snellen. Love that kind of half wreath kind of branch I in there. Adore that one. <laughs> Beautiful. So if you've got your, your 2 J's finger stamps, they work beautifully oh, around yes, it to build it up. 9.99 is your prize. 6 as 57 265 is your item number. Back to you. OK, so what I've done is I've stamped this. this is onto normal cream smooth cardstock. Oh, yes, it's nice. nothing spectacular. And I know you love your greens. Yes, So I do. I'm going to choose this one here. Okay. Well, I, it's not that I love them. It's just, for me, it's, it's, proof always, in, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's the kind of thing that showcases why you should go for this uh, range exactly. of amazing Exactly. So I pens. start with 120, then it tells me to have 2288. Mm -hmm. Now, this is always the boring bit where I have to look for them, and I'm not very good at it. Do you organize, leave them in the same order, or...? I did at first, and then I thought, I'll put them in number order. And I realised I should never have done that. Leave them in the order they come in, okay. because they've been done in a lot easier, easier way, way to actually find oh, them. Yeah. So next I want 371. So, where are we? Oh, honestly. I mean, Do you want to cover something for a minute? Yeah, just well, well, I would <laughs> say. It's like, I've probably... I've uh, got it. I found it. Found it. <laughs> and then finally, 358. Yeah. Got it. Oh, OK. But again, so if I wanted to colour in sort of greens or yellows, I've got to be honest, they're not the shades that I would have chosen. Okay, those yeah. colours are not. If I hold those up, can you see? Those aren't the colours I'd have chosen. Oh, not yeah. in the slightest. Mm -hmm. And I certainly, I would have put them that way round. Yeah. Uh, sorry, that's the right. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I did it. Yeah. But no way would I have gone for that dark grey colour it's green. True, because you wouldn't. It's no. very, um, how we call it, um, not mossy green. Yeah, but it kind of that sort of greyish, greyish um, yeah, green. Yeah, it's not what the I other would ones have done. Luminosus. So yes. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to colour in using the brush. And you can see how much I've used this yellow. So even on the end where I've gone over, see it's got a little bit darker? Yeah. It's not altering the colour at all. Yeah. Because it's not, it's just affecting the brush. So I'm just going to do this main magnolia flower. And one of the reasons I chose these is because they've got, Nelly's drawn all the lines on that you need to tell you how to colour. So this is one of the best ways to teach yourself. Because why bother paying for classes? If you've got the right pens, what you learn in classes are the blends. The blends, yeah. And most of the time they teach you the blends and then how to do it. Well, we can do that. Can. So what I do now is I'm going to take the next shade in that it tells me, 2288, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to put it over using the brush 
over where the little lines are. Yeah? Yeah. Just like that. Okay, I know that that'll be darker because it's turned over. So just like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm then going to take the bullet tip, and okay. this is the difference now. Right, of course. Because with the bullet tip, now I can go in and do fine detail. So I can add just a little bit of this just around wherever there's any dark lines. So you see where it's got yeah. the little bit of shading. Can you imagine trying to get into that bit there on its own with a chisel yeah, tip or yeah. with a brush? It's virtually impossible. So I go around there like that. Yeah? It's oh, already looking yeah. luminous. Yeah. So we go then to the next yeah. colour, and this time I'm going to use just the chis just the bullet tip, and I'm going to effectively come out on those little lines like that, just in little strokes. Really simple. And I have never tested this one. And this is how much I trust the chart. Because you do. But look at that. I mean, it, even uh, if, if you don't want to blend them also, I, sometimes I like to, the alcohol markers to be like, just like this. Like yeah, you are leaving just to be to, obvious. So again, just going out and then adding just a little bit on the ends where it's that darker shade. I mean, you could, because they start to sort of shade themselves, you could leave it just at that. But then I go in with the darkest one, which they've suggested. And then, oh, and then you can have that the, a little bit more in there. Just following anywhere where those lines are. And again, the colours I wouldn't have chosen. Really simple. It does work. But it, it really work. works it together and gives that intensity. And of course, then alcohol markers can go on you know, like you have shown and gloss of surfaces. You yeah, could do the same do, thing. You can. I, I do a trick where I, I, I foil a stamp with the Kaleido <gasps> on acetate and then I colour behind <gasps> with the alcohol markers. So like you've got the mix glass. of foil like stained glass. Yeah. And then all I'm going to do is take, for a simple blend, take the bullet tip of the very first one yeah. and just scribble over in circles. And you'll notice it starts... Blending those lines. Blending those lines you together. Can see and you start to lose the little bits of the line you're doing. With, with these pens, because I, um, do you find that blend better straight away, or do you wait a little bit, or it doesn't matter? It doesn't actually matter. I would say when using the darker colours, you want to do this and then leave it to yeah. settle for an hour or so, yeah. although I was leaving them to settle. Mm -hmm. You've got a chart there, uh, in, held up, sorry. I yeah. stood up of different colours I did. All of those, I did them in stages, but from start to finish, the whole, all of those took me two hours because it was one episode of Vera. <laughs> so that's how I measure time. That's how you measure time. Um, yeah. is in, in my craft cave, I have to watch something. I can't work in silence. Mm -hmm. So all I actually did was, so all of those, every single one of them was from yeah. um, the blends on the chart and I did them all, the whole lot, start to finish, two hours. So you yeah. see there how that now... It's amazing. But you wouldn't think almost from that yeah. that that's where we go. That's and then, of course, what I would do is normally leave it a little bit, but take the next shade down and just almost put a little bit of that in again and then go back in and blend that line out. There we go. That's good. With the lightest that. colour. It seems weird, but with alcohol pens, it, it's basically the more you put on, the lighter it gets. It's just, it's kind of. But you see now you've got that yeah, scooped that's shape, that's right, yeah. and I think that should be a little bit darker. But you can see there and bring that in. But you can keep, you know, constantly. Don't fuss. Don't, don't so, stress yeah. too much. Um, but I know the little trick that really, that I know that Charlotte, the director, the producer likes, yeah. is if you want it to pop... Multitasking. Yeah, yeah but if you is. want it to pop, and if you want to actually cover over where you've gone out of any of your lines, I know you would clean up with yeah. the blender. I love going round with uh, the grey. 
And lower, yeah. Because what it does is it gives it almost a 3D off. But this is the thing. You saw how much I scribbled on this yeah. paper. Yeah? I know I shouldn't do, but I'm going to do just the actual flower. So it's almost like a wow, spotlight that, colouring. I like that. Never thought of doing that, but I really, now that you're dying it, really like a spot. Spot it's almost like you're spotlighting yeah, spotlighting, yeah. that individual image. And again, over time, that will settle a little bit. I've got a little bit of grey there. I've gone over. Yeah. So I'll take that out with a blender. Yeah. And that's this kind of, yeah. That's so effective. And then, of course, once you have in, in the board, so having so many greys as well is brilliant because you have got some warm greys, some uh, cool greys, some neutral greys as well. So that means that you will be able to be able to do that. So if, for instance, if you have got something a little bit more a cooler image, maybe under the rain or something like that, you will be able to use the cooler tones. You can. You use. You can use. You've got your blue greys and your green greys. You've got, but you've got enough that you need. I know I had a set years ago that had twelve blue greys, 12 green greys, 12, fantastic, but I didn't, I used three of each. Exactly. I only, only ever three. used three of each. I paid for stuff yeah. I wasn't going to use, and this is, seems to be covered in everything that I'm going to use. I love them, and of course, it comes in, they come in with the colourless blending pans. If you want yours, remember that you are getting 10 of the colourless blender, so you can do a dilution, basically, of the colour, and then create the intensity, and then an ombre effect with them. So there's a lot of possibilities as well you could even also bring into a blender two different colors and create your unique shades of colors as well remember that you are getting double ender pens there with a vibrant the high concentration of color and that alcohol solution that is not alcohol that is kind of gonna seep in through because it's too much of that and not enough of color quite the opposite the intensity of the colors the intensity of the reds red being always one of those colors that kind of gets a little bit dull down uh, with alcohol markers not so in this set look at this fuchsia pink the vibrancy the colors in there look at the gray how beautiful it clears but if you want a softer gray we have got little john here i love that one oh, i love i love he's so cute Love it's not. It's a little pilot stamp, I think, from All and Create. Yeah, but I think it's but John. But it's just what I did. I had to buy him when as soon as I saw him, and I thought <coughs> I had to like cut him because I just think it is. It's little me. It's, it's what I'd me. like to look like. You do you don't look like him. And whether that is, this is me. <laughs> oh, I'm like like that. About or or this one. This is Charlotte, the Queen. That there is it Charlotte, is. isn't that it? That is Charlotte. Is she is like that? And then, of course, we have. Um, different ones look at that the yellows as well the gorgeous here look at the flowers as well look at the larger flowers can you see that there is no stray uh, you know like there is you cannot see the straight uh, the strokes you don't of the, see the actual yes. lines going through do Absolutely. you they blend so beautifully and again just literally quick coloring on another just emma blake stamp really oh, really so simple good. just two colors a pink and a red that is absolutely stunning. Uh, now, of course, you're getting all 108 pens. You're getting 10 blend, uh, blendables, uh, blenders or kind of uh, the bleach ones as well. But the case, the case is also very, very handy. Now, of course, become a Freedom member if you're considering this because your Freedom saving there is £28.77. and pence, So it's £18.77 and pence more. However, if you were going to buy the full set as a pick and mix, that would have already a £72 saving that carries forward and additionally you have additionally you have got that 28 pounds and 77 pence as um of course as a freedom member so it works out over a hundred pounds saving and you're not paying pmp either so that is the deliver cost as a freedom member if you flexify to three interest-free payments 56 pounds and 32 pence that is all you have to pay today the same amount next month 339 520 is your item number now if you want to create beautiful swatches of color and background and then you can do the, all the you know alcohol ink techniques look at this I mean it has to be said look at the glitter now this is the first time that I see alcohol inks with glitter I mean I have seen metallics but never glitter in there absolutely stunning if you want yours there is uh, several options there's five different options whichever option you are gonna go for you're gonna get four beautiful colors that blend perfectly so we have got the pastel the seasonal the tutti frutti the mosaic and the gemstones 
I love these backgrounds because look at this. You can create incredible scenes in there as well. Right, 440-072 is your item number. Now, can we move to the, my favorite? I know it's black and white, and who would know that this was one of my favorites? But it's just so stunning. It's absolutely amazing. The graphite, the onyx, and of course, that incandescent. Oh, look at the name in there. You can see that, that, well, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but here you can see a little bit of those colors there coming through. There it is, amazing. Shake it and see, you can. oh yeah, you can see there. Right, now if you want to go for this option, 999 is your price, 357148, but I will be quick to check out the baskets, 40% of the stock has gone. And then of course you have got stays in place, you have got a pick and mix of it, you're choosing two out of three options, including of course the Arctic white, which comes of course with the reinker, so you reink it every time, or every time or every day that you're gonna use it. But of course that means that you have got a reinker that you can play with as well as an ink. Then you have got, of course, the matte black and the jet black, which has got that sparkle in there. You can see there. Uh, three to one, five to five is your item number. 15 pounds and 99 pence is the price. Back to you, John. Right, okay, so um, I was going to play with the alcohol inks and oh, the glitter inks, I'll show you the difference. Um, and I was going to sort of play with a mix of colours, but I thought at first you're going to want me to use the blacks, aren't you? Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, please. Which, is, which is a, a silly, silly thing to, for me to even think that you wouldn't want me to. <laughs> so I got here the incandescent the graphite and the onyx okay and what I love about this if you can see you know when you actually I'm just dropping this down as I would do normally you know when you use the um, I can't think of the right word um, you know when you use the metallic ones they're yes. really viscous aren't yes. they? they're really yeah, thick yeah. Sticking yeah. Yeah. these aren't even though they've got all of that glitter in it so I'm just putting them down as drops onto a piece of sort of gloss paper as you would do right. normally. Yeah. I've got this thing at the moment about sort of sweeps across things. Right. And I don't know why. I'm going to add a little bit of the incandescent. And then you see that is clear. It's almost like a blender. And then like anything else, normally with the metallics you have to add the blending solution. Right. With these I don't. I'm just using my sort of puffer. <gasps> oh. They're not thick. Yeah. Do you know as you'd I imagine know what you it mean, would yeah. be? They are they are kind of they have they're more fluid. They're far more fluid than you'd yeah. expect. And I don't think you're actually getting at the moment you're not getting the glitter. So if I give this up no, a little, little bit, bit. Can yeah, you we see? do, yeah, we do. Oh. oh So if I want to build up layers on that because it's starting to look a little bit like granite, then I I actually set fire to it, like you're flambeing. And really? I do this a lot with my alcohol inks. Yep, so what you do is... There we go. Watch it, I think it's actually all already evaporated. Come yeah. on. Oh. Now, normally it goes straight up. There we go. But what it does is it drives the ink into the paper <sighs> and goes out. Yeah. Yeah, so it's almost now like yeah. photo paper, it's actually in there and <sighs> fixed. Yeah, anywhere I'm unsure, okay. But what that allows me to do then is to start going on and adding different layers yeah. without them turning to mud. So now if you watch the white dots, yeah. they will go into cells and they I don't see. drive out, yeah. so they build <gasps> Ooh, I like that. on top. Yeah. So I can go in with a little bit of the graphite which is look they are dancing it's like they a, do it's like they stars. wink at you yeah oh i want to play with them yeah so again i'm just gonna i want to set that as it is so yeah. and if you're gonna do this do it at, don't do it outside yeah. Don't do it at home Absolutely. like I do. I, I am crazy. I even crazy. Would, would recommend to wear a mask at home. Yes, yeah, definitely. You know? Don't do what I do. It's yeah. just what I do. Does that make sense? Don't do what I do. Yeah. It's just what I do. I know I'm silly. Yeah. <sighs> there we go. But you can see we keep all of that shine. So I can now add... Like sort of the lines that you would have through. Yeah. Oh, yeah flowing through. Love that when it drips off. Oh, so satisfying. But it is absolutely beautiful and there's a really simple, yeah. easy sort of background to do. Beautiful. 
but no. takes no time at all. I'm going to wipe but off But this the is excess. the sort of thing, right? Do you find that one day that you are not, like, you want to craft, but you are not inspired, and then I you don't just want to do anything, anything but I, just be, make backgrounds? It is. I have a massive box at home full of backgrounds and it just says it's got backgrounds because I label everything as you know um, and it literally just has backgrounds in yeah. it and I make all of these so I'm just going to go with some of the other colours oh, but yes. all you do is just mix them together really and, and the glitter doesn't dull at all with the fire does the, it the glitter just doesn't dull I mean I know I probably put far too much on I mean, again I'm not an expert in this I just love mm. playing but I love mixing and creating oh, red Beaut they've got the colour intensity that's so yeah. often missing. So this time I'm going to add just a little bit of blending solution. <gasps> Look at the sparkle. <laughs> and it's, it's, just, it's funny because I'm not, I don't necessarily kind of think of myself as a sparkly person, but when you look at that, you cannot just dance. No, no, you just, just feeling like you're dancing, you're in that happy mode, you know, they're just... They're you are heaven. totally... And you see how they build layers yeah. as it dries into the card yeah. almost. I'm actually using this was a giveaway that we did on the birthday last year. Really? It was a marker pen thing and I said keep hold of it yeah. because it's perfect for using your alcohol inks and you don't have to buy one, you know what I'm like. But I can completely cover the card. You see there, but look, when I hold this one up. Oh, oh. look at that. And I love, it's, you know, I like the glitter that is such an um, iridescent glitter. It's not a particular colour glitter, it's not too shouty, it's just there, it's just beautiful, it's subtle but reflecting yeah, light. Yeah, it's just really, really fine in there. Yeah. There's nothing massive in there. Does it come off though? Sorry? It doesn't come off. This is like... So, if you give it a rub, yeah. it doesn't come off. I mean, I do tend to... I want this to dry quickly. So I'll just see if I can get any, if it's not dry. No, that's dry. That's perfect. Because what yeah. I'm going to do now is I'm going to stamp on it. So I'm just going to take a piece of paper, my scratch paper. So what ink would you use for this? Well, what I would use is I would use the stays in place, yep. to be honest. Yep. Um, because what I want to do is I need to get something intense on it. I know you really liked the Nelly. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. The other one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Circle. So, I'm actually going to use the mini one. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think this, this is as this an is end of mat. call. Yeah. Oh, I see. So, this is the matte mini one, yeah. which is really good to sort of so, get you started. If you go for the pick and mix and you go for the sparkly, uh, the, the jet black and the, um, what is it, the Arctic white, so yeah. you will have the two glittery ones, and then when you check out your basket, you'll add the mini one. Yeah. That way you have all That way three. you've got the whole sort yeah. of collection, yeah. Look at that. But just how beautiful that looks almost floating on there. It really does sort of work. I but what I can nice. do if I want to is I'm just going to bring in, again, my little piece of scratch paper. That's not quite dry, yeah. as you know it takes. Yeah. I mean, you're the ink queen, so <laughs> no, you know really. these things. I know. Um, oh, I'm just going to take that extra yeah. sort of off, and it takes, it sort of takes its takes a little bit off the back as well. So you can see it takes a little bit off the back layers, there. You are creating layers, creating layers. Yeah. What I'm going to do now is use the Arctic White. Right. Because this is a glitter one as well. <sighs> so I'm just going to ink it with the Arctic White. Because the white over the colour won't work, but the white over the black, can you see it's starting to take it down? And this is the fab thing, is as I'm inking this, it's actually marking my pad yeah but it doesn't matter because I can just add more, more of the of ink that, on yeah. and again you're supposed to do little dots and oh no life's too short <laughs> you get the little spread yeah, and then you, you get one with each yeah. one but it just I can take it back to that white there we go that's crisper we like a crisp yeah and I can go over that there we go. You <gasps> see oh, there. Oh, I like that. It gets, creates that kind of ghosty effect. Yeah, if you I can know. show on that one, you can see. Oh, yes, I can see it now. The, the, the I've got that ghosted yeah, effect. Yeah. Now, obviously, if I do it on black, like. then I would get the white. You but I just think that look works so, so well. And it's a permanent yeah. white, yeah. Yeah, glittery, glittery ink pad. That's what's so unusual. For Christmas, 
you know, like like all those beautiful seas, oh, the snow yes. elements. Oh, beautiful. And then it will feel like this frosty. Yeah, and, you and could the stamp snow. them in the black, yeah. then stamp them in the white, which will give you exactly. the, the incant. Oh, what a great idea. Or even, you know, there's images of like a forest of woodlands. And then just even if you don't do it the whole thing, but just kind of Put whatever it is. Put little areas of the stamp, you yeah. get that incandescent or, shine or the, across where it. Where the, the, the moon is kind of coming through the light, and then you can just drag it as well. You could do that as well, couldn't you? You could I drag the pad down. Yeah, yeah, and do loads of it. Ooh, so yeah, exactly. just a couple of ideas, but yeah. there's something, you know, for your backgrounds, and you just want that. I know that um, Art Angels used them loads in some of her Christmas card samples for me for next week. Wow, well, uh, very exciting. Now, of course, if you want to go for the stays in place uh, pick and mix, you have got three different options, which are, of course, the one that I would definitely recommend to go for, which is Arctic White. Now, then, personally, I would go for the Jet Black, which is the one with a sparkle, because the, I don't have alcohol inks, but you may want to go if you don't have an alcohol whole ink uh, ink pad uh, then the black one the matte black would be the the obvious answer or you could do like John was saying the Arctic white the jet black and then get the end of call offer the smaller version of the matte black and that way you have got all three so if you go for the pick and mix 15 pounds and 99 pence you choose any two three to one five to five is your item number then the mineral collection alcohol not do you know what? This is fabulous. I just adore this so much. Uh, no, you can see them here. You are getting the uh, gorgeous mineral collection, the graphite, the onyx, and the incandescent. And you can see them all three here. Uh, 9.99 is the price, 357, 148. Very busy for that. Over 40% of the stock has gone. Then we have got the colors, the glitter colors in sets of four. We have got five different options. Angelic, baby pink, baby blue, and peach. I don't know why I think of Charlotte when I think of this one. Uh, very angelic. Uh, uh, and then uh, we have, of course, the seasonal, which has got the Christmas colors. Then we have got the Tutti Frutti in here, which is the most popular, I think, still. And then we have got the gorgeous uh, mosaic. And finally, the um, this, uh, gemstones at the bottom of it whichever option you go you're gonna get four of them for 12 pounds and 99 pence is your price four four zero zero seven two is your item number and then of course we the start of the show is the alcohol markers they come in a case which means that is really portable and also I always think not only portable but it's also you can just display like this store them flat or a hard uh, oh, I need to ask you that question of uh, John how to store them uh, but you have you can see here cool grays warm grays but then the whole spectrum of colors and of course they come in with the blenders remember price wise now, if you were going to buy them in sets of the pick and mix, you buy them in sets of four and you get three for 21 pounds and some pennies. Uh, now, that has an eight pound saving. If you were going to go for the full collection, you would have a 72 pound saving if you wanted to go buy them as a pick and mix. However, if you go for the one day special, you get the 10 colorless uh, blending thrown in, but also you have a 10 pound saving. However, if you're a Freedom member, that saving becomes at £28.77, plus that additional £72 pounds, uh, saving that you had. So it's all actually over a hundred pounds saving and that is the deliver cost because as a freedom member you do not pay p and p now you can also spread it into into three interest-free payments which means today 56 pounds and 32 pence no pmp to pay for 339 520 that is the item number that you need for these glorious alcohol markers we are approaching 40 percent of the stock and i love the variety the intensity of colors that you can get with them so soft and a strong, that's what you can do and that's what you want when you go for pens, uh, alcohol pens. You want the color, you want the ability, the nibs, the quality of the ink. You don't want flooded with, uh, with this, the, uh, the kind of alcohol. You want a good mix of alcohol so it blends easily but also an intensity vibrant ink. Right, and now uh, John, we have about four minutes, oh actually three minutes left. Right. What are you going to show us? Right. Okay. So I have absolutely no. What I'm going to do is I want to show you <laughs> how. I want to show you very quickly how easily they blend. Because yeah. I was going to show you another alcohol ink technique, but I'll save that for the next one. Yeah. But I wanted to show that one. So two six three is what I'm wanting. Okay. So yeah. I should have pulled these out first. The question I had was, how do you recommend to store these particular pens? I Apple leave them in my box, stood up. 
Okay. I don't do anything other than leave them completely okay. stood up. Yep. To be honest, I don't do, you know, I don't bother with anything posh or anything special. Just give them I in the box. I leave them in the box, those. stood up like that, yep. because that's how I use them. Exactly. I know a lot of people say about storing them laid down or yeah. anything else, but we don't do that. A pen's a pen. Yeah. I mean, the only reason I store my alcohol partners horizontally uh, in, in my experience is because I have them on a shelf, so I have, can look at it and I can see all the colours that yeah, I have. Yeah, I do got. that with all of my others. Yeah because I've got lots of sets that I bought over the yeah. time and these are the ones I want to use. But that's what I do uh, with yeah. those. But that's, again, so that I can see them. Now, I don't need to see them because I go mm. from the chart. That's what makes that's it true. so yeah. much easier. So, portable. so I've taken just a blend. It's this one yeah. here. But again, just to... Yeah, look at this. I'm doing three stripes. Yeah. This, to me, is the biggest test of a yeah. pen to be honest, yeah. because I've got three colours that I wouldn't personally think would shade together or would blend. But I know oh. that they will because this is how they were bought. So we see there as I come into that, that is just... how that one is just... blends across. Okay. And I take the next one down and I blend into yeah. that one. Yeah. So I'm oh, getting yeah. the right blend between yeah. them. Let's take that one over, okay. And then you bring in the... So for a beginner, they w would they work, you think? They would work for somebody who has never, ever, ever coloured before. Whether you enjoy it or not, whether you want to do something to colour in your stamps, whether you've ne if you've never alcohol coloured yeah. before, these will that. work for you because yeah. they worked for me. And even for me, so that I, I'm a little bit alcohol mark, a marker pen. <laughs> well, I, I've got a friend who's got everyone on the market and she yeah. watched the original shows and said, not sure. Then she texted me yesterday and last night I had to order them for her. Well, uh, you might be that person. You might be like me. It's like, I want them because of the colours that you have got. Thank you so much, John. We will see you at 12, 12 o'clock. So lots more demonstrations. And of course, do check out your basket, especially the one day special. They are absolutely fabulous. And the alcohol inks and the ink pads, so much that you can do. But the stay tuned here at the craft store that we have got plenty to coming up, as well as car stock, glittery car stock, Christmas colours after.